Well, I've had the pleasure of being chairman for the last number of years since the inauguration of the scheme, and it's been terribly well received by the volunteers in sport and by the sporting organisations. You'll see the essence of sport is the people in the background, the unsung heroes, the coach, the person who marks the pitches, the fellow who makes the tea, the lady who does all the minding and caring, everyone from who to wash the gear to organise the transport. And it sounds simplistic to say that, but these heroes are out there in multitudes giving up their time voluntarily. I could never do it. I mean, I couldn't coach out on a freezing cold night. I couldn't take the soccer team, or I couldn't take the Gaelic team. I couldn't take the girls. I, I'd be, I'd be, wouldn't be able to give up myself like that. But there are people out there who are like that, and they're among the awardees that the distinguished committee I chair select. There's a legend of sport in all these marvellous people we've selected over the years. I can remember my first coach, a man called Brendan Hennessy, Crusaders Athletic Club. Brendan was a volunteer coach, but Brendan taught you to love the sport and to show you the fun in sport. And across the whole spectrum of diversity of sport, there's people like that, ladies and men who inspire the young people to enjoy. The essential thing is to put in your nominee that person you admire, that person in the background in the club, the one who's been doing these, I, may, I won't say menial tasks, but seemingly small tasks, the ones who've voluntarily done this for years and years. Let's give them a pat on the back. Let's select them from whatever part of Ireland you're in, from whatever sport you represent. <laughs>